progress, though, in terms of ASEAN and its relationship with China. You mentioned infrastructure, railways all the way down to Singapore. Uh, what else do you see? Do you see a more integrated social network? Uh, first of all, very historical. We have thousands of years of communication culturally and uh, economically. And uh, uh, even though some countries in the ASEAN framework do not feel happy to talk about this, but it is a fact that in each of the 10 ASEAN countries, you have large ethnic Chinese community, which is a fact. And I truly believe over the generations, they have contributed greatly to the modernization of all these countries. And they have also maintained very good, close relations with China, where their ancestors came from. So from the Chinese perspective, when we look at ASEAN, it's not only our neighboring countries, it's a very much important part of the world where we in China feel a great deal of affinity. We feel a great deal of friendship and goodwill. That's one thing. Now, secondly, between China and ASEAN, we have a big free trade agreement. And that agreement needs to be upgraded to a higher and more enhanced version of a free trade agreement. It's very important to note that among the 12 members of the proposed TPP, China already has free trade agreements with eight of them. So in this background, while China is not only promoting a more enhanced and upgraded version of the free trade agreement between China and uh, ASEAN countries, which cover almost all aspects of economic and commercial life between China and these 10 countries, we also need to you know, really do much, much more. And I think in terms of cultural exchange, exchange of students from China to ASEAN countries and ASEAN countries back to China, for example, and also in terms of mobilizing not only mainland China, where I came from, but also Hong Kong, Macau, and Taiwan, for example, all pitch in in enhancing much greater and much more comprehensive and overarching coverage of this China-ASEAN relations. I'm a big believer of tremendous amount of upside that we can achieve between China and the ASEAN countries. I've visited you know, many of the 10 ASEAN member states and I can really tell you, whenever I travel to ASEAN countries, I feel very much at home. I see a lot of friends and I not only see neighboring country friends, but I also see images of myself in the population over there. That's why I would say, from the Chinese perspective, ASEAN as a region, as a bloc, ASEAN countries and people in ASEAN are truly our brothers and sisters. And we really respect them and we really hope we can work together to promote greater economic development and modernization.